So, with further ado, I would uh, like to announce our first inductee tonight, and that is Mark Beck. So let's give him a hand. Thank you. Thank you ever so much. How much wine do I have here? I think Michael said that yesterday. Whoop. There we go. I want to thank the festival, the Alliance, um, the folks who nominated me for this amazing award. It's such an honor and humbling to be sitting here with this group of esteemed massage therapists. We work in the best profession in the world. I don't know how many times I've been able to say, it's such a business doing pleasure with you. There's so many people that I would like to thank. I think first among them is a gal by the name of Judy Kennedy, who saw me get out of my truck one day, 40 years ago, and I couldn't hardly stand up or take a deep breath because of a back injury. She said, I know exactly what you need. And she gave me the name and a map to visit a woman in, in Santa Fe, where I was at, named Natasha. She gave me my first massage. She said, as I drove up to her house, I was 25 years old, would you please go into my bedroom, take your clothes off, and lay down on my bed. I'll be in in a minute. <laughs> I was 25 years old. I said, OK. <laughs> An hour and a half later, she said, Rest for a minute and then get up. I get up without pain. And she said to me, the next time this happens to you, find somebody who knows how to do massage. Do you know how hard it was in 1975 to find anybody who knew how to do massage? It happened to me again in Seattle. So I looked in the phone book for somebody who knew how to do massage and found 13 pages of half-page ads for Seppi's Sensuous Massage, Oriental Delights, Bob Rogers Spartan School of Massage. That's the one I checked out. And I really want to thank Bob Rogers for accepting me as a student in exchange for carpentry work. It's what set me on the path. I'd also really like to thank everyone who I was able to give a massage to who felt better, because every experience was a learning experience. Then there came the opportunity when one Bobby Madry got in touch with me and said, would you help revise a book? And I said, well, no, I'm really busy. I want to go to acupuncture school. She said, please? I said, OK. That was 30 years ago. And I would love to just see a show of hands of how many of you as students were required to carry around the theory and practice of therapeutic massage, or used it as a study guide for an exam. I want to thank each and every one of you, and especially the massage profession itself. So thank you so very much.